Right now on WUSA 9 News at 5, we have some new reporting on yesterday's deadly shooting in Reston. Police have arrested and charged this man right here, 43-year-old Steve Tahiha, for shooting and killing another man inside the Gold's Gym on Sunrise Valley Drive. He's facing a second-degree murder and weapons charges tonight. Thank you for being here with us for the News at 5. I'm Lorenzo Hall. And I'm Leslie Foster. Investigators believe the shooting was targeted, but they have still not quite pieced together how these two men knew each other. Our Leslie Moreno has spent the day working to learn more about what happened. She joins us live now from Reston with the latest on the investigation. So what do we know, Les? Hey guys, good evening. Yeah, a much different scene here tonight. The gym remains closed and the investigation is ongoing. Detectives have been out here all day uh, trying to piece all of this together, trying to figure out what exactly led up to that deadly shooting. Tonight, 43 year old Steve Tehi Hav Chantilly is behind bars. Fairfax County police say he shot and killed 31 year old Hangju Choi of Reston Tuesday afternoon inside the Skolt's gym in Reston, Virginia. Our suspect approached our victim in a targeted stance uh, and, and shot him. The shooting happened just after one. The gym was full. Dude was out there holding the gun, shooting him. Uh, so I hid behind the pillar. Uh, and then ran for my friend in the squad room. Police say they found Choi inside the gym suffering from gunshot wounds to the upper body. He was rushed to the hospital where he later died. Shortly after the shooting, witnesses told WUSA 9 that Choi was doing pull-ups on a machine when the gunman approached him and shot him several times. You see his face in my head right now, him gurgling, trying to say something. And then it, like, it, sucks, a little bit, it sucks even more because uh, we see him every day. Police say Ha fled the gym. He was arrested that same evening. Ha appeared in court this morning and tonight he's facing second degree murder charges. He is currently being held without bond. As far as the motive that is still under investigation, we can tell you the suspect Ha will be back in court on the 28th. We can also report that we did briefly speak to the victim's family just a few hours ago. They weren't ready, however, to speak publicly just yet. We'll toss it back to you in the studio. Yeah, it's just amazing that you could be exercising in one moment and and then at the target of this unthinkable crime in the next. All right, Leslie, thank you.